To fully understand power in the data center, we need to start by looking at how power gets to the facility in the first place. The power grid begins at the generation facility, where power generators produce an alternating current with a spinning electromagnetic rotor. As the rotor turns through the magnetic field, electrons move back and forth, creating alternating current that is transmitted to power users. The generator rotates at a speed that produces power with a frequency of 60 cycles per second in North America and 50 cycles in the other parts of the world. Rotors and magnets exist at three locations around the generator at 0 or 360 degrees, 120 degrees, and 240 degrees, producing three phases of power all 120 degrees apart. This is why we see three wires transmitting power. A step-up transformer increases the voltage generated at the facility. The transformer relies on electromagnetic waves and added coils in the secondary side of the transformer to increase voltage. This increased voltage is necessary for transmitting power over long distances. A general rule of thumb is that 1,000 volts are required for each 1.6 kilometers or 1 mile of distance to move the power. Transmission voltages can reach over 700,000 volts. Higher voltages require larger distances between the phased wires to reduce the chance of an arc. Higher voltages also require larger diameter wires. The transmission customer then receives the power at the higher voltage. Very few end customers require this high voltage or have the equipment to handle it. When the power exits the transmission customer, it will enter a distribution substation where a step-down transformer reduces the voltage for use in a local industrial area. This medium voltage power is used by industrial customers such as factories and other large users. Medium voltage customers use power ranging from 600 volts to 69,000 volts or 69 kV. After the voltage has been decreased, the power enters the sub-transmission systems for medium voltage customers. These customers have transformers, circuit switching, and protection to handle these voltages. They customize the power to the levels they need for their industrial equipment. They will take voltages that come in as high as 69 kV and use this power to run their 120 volt office equipment. Data center customers may take medium voltage, but they are more likely to have the utility transform the voltage down again for their use. They too will have their own electrical equipment to transform the voltage, along with switching and protection circuitry throughout their facility to distribute the voltage. This can be anywhere from 600 volts to as low as 120 volts. The most common facility electrical service in North America is a 277, 480 volt power, which is used to power single phase 277 volt or three phase 480 volt systems. Even though three phase power may be distributed throughout the data center, only single phase power needs to be supplied to any individual device. Voltages vary in different regions of the world. For example, Canada uses 600, 208 and 120 volts, where Europe uses 400 and 230 volt systems, and in Japan they use only 100 or 200 volts.